Right, I've sent Tyler round the warehouse to collect a few things. He's got the tartan paint. He's got the long weight. He's got a spanner, which, what well, we need this. What have we got? A 17 mil spanner. We've got a torch, we need that. And he's got the sky hooks and a net and some cable ties. So this video is gonna show you how to fit the sky hooks in your Land Rover Defender. Yeah, those old, those people out there who love the old apprenticeships, they'll know what we're talking about with the uh, long weight and the tartan paint. Right, so this is the product. We did mention it before. So in the back of the Land Rover Defender, we'll have a look in a minute, you have these high up mounting points that you can mount stuff to. And they do a series of sort of partitions. There's a net partition, we've done the video on that. And there's a sort of rigid wire frame, like a sort of dog partition. And we've been through that. But it occurred to me that you could use those same mounting points, because they are pseudo structural mounting points, to create a little hook at the top where you could lash things to and you could set things up, which might be useful for people when they're doing crazy off-road stuff. You could lash your ropes up and keep them mountaineering or any of that stuff. So we are gonna show you how to do that. So what does it consist of? So we are gonna sell these as a pair. Now I will also tell you how to make these yourself, right? Because, but we've done it and you can, a lot of those Land Rover boys, they like doing stuff themselves, don't they Tyler? Yeah. yeah. We still haven't got you a mic, have we Tyler? But we are looking at it. We are looking at it. we're working on it. It's not that easy. Um, right. So there is a stainless steel eyelet. Then there is an M10 connector bolt, M10 by 30 for those of you that wanna make it yourself. That's an M10 eyelet, stainless. And we went for the stainless connector bolts. We didn't need to, because it's inside the car, but make it posh, isn't it, Tyler? Make it last forever, right. Um, and when, then we've got a stainless steel, you need an M10 by 55 coach bolt. Now, you'll see the coach bolts nearly fit into the groove, but not quite. So we've had to just file them down a little bit on these two sides. And Tyler's made a little jig so that we can pre-file these so that they're ready to go. And then we've had these metal plates cut. And you'll see why this metal plate is needed. It's to stop it. It's once it's in, it stops it sliding. Right, we'll have a look. So that is the kit. Right, let's get on Tyler, everyone's bored. Right, the trouble with this Defender is it does suck the light, even with our flashy light, but our flashy light hasn't come on. It's because we haven't opened the rear door. Right, let's have a look. So in the back, join me in the back here. Right, so in the back of your Defender, there is this little secret panel and you can undo it, it's not secret anymore. And then you've got that little, what is it, like a kidney shape or something, or is it like a little, a little fetus or something. There, that's a bit weird, isn't it? But yeah, Tyler knows what I mean. Right then, he's used, to, he's used to my nonsense. And what you've got to get is you get these, and when we sell these, this bowl, we will put, we will mark the two green things on our little check jig. And what you need to do is you need to pop that in with the, with the green at top and bottom, and then rotate it around. And it should slide into that groove, right into that corner. We can get it in a bit more. There we go. Right. And then when you've got it into the groove, uh, you can put this plate. Now, be careful. This plate has got a big corner off of it and a little corner. Now, the big corner always needs to go to the top. Can you see that? All right, Tyler, it's a yeah. bit dark in here. And then when we go there, that should go there. And that will stop it from slipping out. Yeah, can you pass me the nut, Tyler? There you go. I'd be right if I wasn't holding the torch. Maybe, yeah, you hold the torch, yeah. Right. I'll do the technical stuff. You're better with the technology, Tyler. Right. And then what you can do is, and obviously where that coach bolt is in that slot, it doesn't, it doesn't rotate. So you can get that tight. And if I'd have brought the spanner with me, I could tighten it up. But I haven't, so I won't. Right. And then once you've done that, you can then put on your... Boop, 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 boop. your eyelet and you have got yourself that there you go you can get it there we've got a hook so we are gonna we are gonna put one here we'll go and fit the other one over this side and then we'll have a look we've got some nets some cargo nets that we sell and we'll see if we could just make a rough cargo net it's a bit weird looking at me lying down <laughs> right so we'll get that we'll get that other one in i say we i mean tyler tyler's gonna fit that other one and then we'll have a look if we can use this net. We haven't tried this yet, 
um, but we've got a whole load of these we got. So, right, we will have a go and join you in a minute. Right, take a look inside the stick. So we have there, we've put the, the net across here, um, hooked it at the top and we've hooked it onto the seat support there. And that's given us a low cost net. And obviously you've got the advantage, you could put whatever you like on those hooks and across between the hooks and down to those. And you've got the lashing points on the floor and that. So hopefully some Land Rover owner will find that useful. We will put them on the website and we will also put the measurements on our listing on the website so you can copy them or go to your hardware store if you want to. There we go, Skyhooks, see Tyler, they do exist. 